Welcome everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to our 10 minute toolkit. I am Dan and this is Susan Ragsdale. All right. Well, Susan's going to lead us today through a really exciting exercise. So Susan, take it away. All right. First thing to get everybody set up and I'm glad you guys are all here. Um, I have pre sent you guys a link to, that takes you to this dice throwing page, which is at toytheater.com. And First thing everyone does in this box where it has numbers, you click and you click two. And in the second box where it has different types of dice, you click the second one, which is red and has a five on it. And that's how you get your six sided dice. And first thing I want everybody to do is hit that throw button. All right, everybody's thrown. Any of you have, let me know by show of hands, do any of you have, you're not adding them together, but do you have a four, five, or six showing on either of your dice? Okay, all the guys, all of the guys, if you have a spot where you can jot a note, please do so. If you, if you don't, I'm keeping up with it. You all have the letter A. Mel, you have a D. So that stands for advantage and disadvantage. Come join. So all of you guys are going to keep rolling two dice every single time. Melanie, on your dice, you go to where the number two is and change it to a one because you will only be throwing one dice for each of these. I know, it's okay, Mel. It's okay, hang in there with me. <laughs> So we're just going to look at, as leaders, when we are in situations, we have a bunch of people, whether that's on our team, whether it's in an agency that we're in charge of, or whether we're an elected official, we have people. You guys, by roll of the die, are developing a character who are on my team that I'm leading. And so we're, I wanna know what life is like for you and how I can make the best leadership decisions for you. And so we're going to figure that out through this game and by luck of the roll of the, of the dice. So first scenario, and I'll tell you how to rank things. I have access to clean air. Roll the dice. If you had advantage, you roll two. If you had disadvantage, you just roll one. So roll your dice. Melanie, did you get between a one and three? Okay, a three. So that's going to be a minus. Anybody else have on your two dice? Did anybody get a four to a six or were they all lower than three? Gary got a four to six. Ed on the lower. Jim, what was your highest number? One dice. Jim. Jim looks frozen. Dan, what was your <laughs> number? I had a two on both. You had a two, but okay. So you guys are at minuses. Jim, I was asking, what was your highest number? Um, in the second roll? Uh-huh. I gotta go back and look because connection dropped. Um, it was a three. Okay. All right. Next area, it's, we're gonna look at all of this at the end. So some of us are doing okay, not so okay so far. Um, I can go to the doctor if and when ever I need to or want to. Roll the dice. Show me by hand. Anybody get a four or five or six? Mel, Ed, Gary, Dan, Jim? Yep. Yep, okay. Yes. All right. College is in my future. Roll the dice. Do we write anything down? I'm keeping tabs for you. If you wanted to, you could do minuses and pluses. Anybody get a four, four, um, four five or six on that roll? All right, Dan did, Mel, Gary, Ed. All right, I am able to access and verify facts and the truth of new situations. Roll your dice. Okay. Ed. I got two of them. Um, Jim. Okay. Um, I am able to be positive even in tight situ or tough situations. Roll your dice. 
All right. Holler, yeah. Gary, Ed, Dan, everybody was good on that one. Okay. Um, I don't have to worry about whether or not I have to choose between paying the electricity bill or the rent. Roll your dice. I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm able to choose between paying the electricity bill or the rent. Okay, last one, I think, for this. It's easy for me to cast my vote. Roll your dice. Boy, this is getting to be a really interesting, positive experience for a lot of people here. All right, I tallied up, and that's just a few. You can keep going on with multiple issues. When you're leading this with your group, you can debrief this in a couple ways. First of all, you look at the, the total existence. So uh, let's just, let's look at it this way. Uh, Mel had the boo-boo lips on when she saw that she was a D in disadvantage. And yet, when it came to these life situations, you had advantage more times than disadvantage. So one point you can draw out is you have, as you have everybody look at their overall situation. Well, I started out here or I started out here. Well, that's luck of the draw. That, none of us have control over where we're born, what situation we're born into. But there are things that we can do as we look at our situation to make choices and to move out or try to improve and increase the success of our own lives. So that's one way that you can talk about this. The beauty of putting this as a distance, I'm rolling a character instead of like those traditional cross the line activities where you cross the line if your parents both went to college, is it's a little less pressure. I'm playing for someone else and we've put it in the framework of this is the team that you're leading, the group you're leading. You know, elections are here, we're electing a lot of different officials. We wanna know if they are representing all people and how they're gonna represent all people and how we align our vision and our purpose and what we value. So another way to look at this, um, if, I, if, I, if we'd been really concrete and put like number one and you put down a, a plus and a minus, we could go back and look exactly at each, at each answer from our cast of characters, but you could just sort of get into the weeds of how do we make the community better. So for example, uh, that last statement I said was, it's easy for me to cast my vote. Well, if we did again by raise of hands, who was and who, who could and who couldn't, then we could get in, well, why isn't it easy for us all to cast our vote? What gets in the way? What are some things we can do to get rid of those barriers so that we can all cast our vote? Clean air. We don't all have access to clean air. Well, why is that? So it's a really good tool to then dig into what are the reasons behind this? What are the things that we can do? How can we put a plan in place to adjust um, some of these inequalities? So that's, that's the dice game. It did not make it into the great Greek leader's book because it's a little too long of a thing to describe, much easier to do it this way and just describe it. Um, but we just wanted to, I wanted to share that one with you, especially since elections are tomorrow. And just thinking about whether you like the results of any elections, locally, state, or the, the whole country or not, it doesn't take away our power as leaders. There are things we can do, and so we just have to start looking in closer on how we make changes. Dan, you want to weigh in with anything as you watch this, th things you were thinking? Yeah, the only thing that came to mind that I would just add is what's nice about this exercise too is after each one, you could ask if you were advantaged or disadvantaged, practice empathy and sort of put yourself in the perspective of those shoes. And what are you feeling? What are you thinking? What are some of the reasons that come to mind for why you think you were advantaged or disadvantaged? And it's again, just another way for the group to share their lived experience and practice putting themselves in someone else's shoes too. So. Great exercise, I like it a lot. Oh yeah, there's like a page and a half of debriefing questions that can go with this. But I think it's a, an easy enough one that if you wanna use this online that you get the feel, you can talk about who was advantaged, who wasn't. 
were you at disadvantage, but you ended up with more advantages than disadvantages as we went through the scenarios. Or you had, when I was testing it with Gary at one point, he had advantage, but then he had lots of disadvantages through the situations, you know, and that's just, how's this like life? How's this like the people we know? So it is a great exercise for, for empathy. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys, that's it for this round. So remember, subscribe, share with others so that we can get some more interaction online. And I appreciate you guys being here for testing. Thanks everyone. Thanks. <laughs>